welcome back everyone in this video i will discuss about block selector block selector is the widget which is provided by flutter block library it is the optimized version of block builder in case of block builder it will always update the ui whenever the state changes but with block selector we can trigger the ui rebuild whenever the specific property of the state changes and if that property does not change then the ui will not be rebuilt let me show you with an example here this is the same counter app project which we have discussed earlier in my video series and if i run this then we will get output like this if i click on plus then the counter value will increment if i click on minus then the counter value will decrement now here inside this column after this block builder i will use block selector and this block selector here i need to specify the block that is the counter block after that we need to specify the state that is the counter state and after that we need to specify the selected state the selected state can be of any type but here i am specifying the type as boolean and this block selector takes a mandatory argument which is the selector now selector is nothing but a function which takes the current state so here i am passing the state and here inside this function i am writing the logic as state dot count this to equals to equals to zero this means if the count value is divided by 2 then this selector function will return true otherwise it will return false and inside this builder which will take the context and the state the state means this state which we are passing that is the boolean and here i am giving its name as is even so if the count value is divided by 2 this means the count is even otherwise it is odd now here i am returning return is even if it is true then i will return a text widget and here i am giving the text as even otherwise i will return a empty container let me click here add the const modifier so the selector function executes and checks the count value whether it is even or not if the count is even then the text widget will be rebuilt so a part of the ui inside the block selector is rebuilt based in the condition which we have specified in the selector function other parts of the widget tree outside the block selector that does not depend on the even or odd status of counter will remain unaffected thus the block selector improves the performance of the application and that is the functionality of block selector and if i click here then you can see let me save this first and if i click here then it is zero this means even if i click here then it is odd that's that's why this text widget is not displayed if i click here once again then this is even again the text even is displayed this is how the block selector works in flutter block that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching